intended um, for people to color, perhaps even myself, it's going to be sort of like open line work. So I'm not going to do spot blacks the way um, someone inking for comics might do. So it's going to be open and cartoony, which I, these Fude pins are just ideal for cartoony uh, sort of inking. But if you have sort of like a, a light shoujo aesthetic, you might be able to make them work, but I have to switch to a technical pin um, if I'm doing shoujo stuff. And my head's getting in the way already. I'm going to move this down and hopefully, because my eyesight is actually abominable. It's, I really should be wearing my glasses. I don't know where they are. Um, and uh, so I have to like get all up on what I'm drawing to be able to see it. I'm sure some of you guys are stubborn like I'm stubborn and you have the same problem. Because I ruined my eyesight playing video games. I used to play Guild Wars And I don't know why Teenage Me didn't put up more of a fight not to play at three. Because it's not like, it's not like we had any like Australian friends or Chinese friends who were, you know, we were compensating for the fact that they had a different, an entirely different time zone from us. No, no, we all lived in the central time zone. You guys also just don't know how many times I've like my head on the camcorder trying to like get all up in there so I can see. Hard knock life guys. It's hard being kind of dumb. So I'm probably going to get kind of quiet for a little bit because um, I pull my brush strokes talking it, it makes my hand shake basically it's harder to control longer strokes so I am going to be kind of quiet while I'm finishing this and then I'll probably get super chatty I think for next month if we stay um, I think this goal was set at like 45 if we stay at this level or higher um, I think I'm going to have some marker stuff prepped for you guys um, so if there is anything specific you would like to see me do with watercolor markers water base markers or alcohol markers please let me know um, and I'll try to make sure I have that prepared. If not, I will just sort of do some stuff that I would feel like doing um, in terms of markers. But I definitely think next month maybe markers. I wanted to do um, sort of like a tour de, de art, right? Okay, so we started with the sketching, the warm-up sketching. Then we moved on to a figure drawing, although it was a cartoony figure drawing. Now we're doing inks, and then we're going to end with... Because gouache can get too opaque for that, and it looks weird, and then you can't paint over it, but you could paint over the opaque watercolor if you're very careful. So it had some, some pluses to it, and I, I want to become familiar enough with it that I can use it. And maybe if if things just go exceptionally well, I can maybe do the third live stream all about like digitizing and lettering pages. Maybe we'll see.
by digitizing, I mean digitizing watercolor pages too. So like a very specific skill set, which I want to write about anyway. So maybe that's unfair because I feel like these live streams should be like a like should be bonus material, not just stuff I was gonna do anyway and whenever possible. Eventually, I'd like to, it will be hard for me because I have attention problems and concentration problems, but eventually I would like to do a live stream where I am actively talking about scripting, talking about story planning, talking about thumbnails, because it seems like that would be the, a lot of benefit. Um, I know several of you guys are comic people or very interested in, be, in making your own comics, and so I want to make comics as a creator as accessible to you guys as possible I want to help you out as much as I can so if that sounds like something that you would find beneficial or if you ever want to like schedule like I don't know this could be presumptuous of me but if you want to schedule like a critique or something or you need someone to beta your pages let me know because uh, I actually have a really hard time finding people to beta my... There's like, I think there's like good times of year and bad times of year. And like summer, convention season, not a good time to get people to beta your stuff. Because they're not even at home. They don't... They can't do their stuff. They don't have time for your stuff. Winter is hit or miss. Uh, half of us are so busy. ...is the best time. Because we like, kind of energetic. And, uh... We're remembering why we love being alive, you know, like spring and fall might be like the time to get someone to beta your work. I don't know. Do you guys have any? That's like my experience. Is your experience different from mine? It was so much easier when I was at school, but part of that was I also lived near a bunch of other artists and I could like take them out for coffee and plunk a five page script. Well, you know, however long it is. Nothing over 40 pages. Nothing not over coffee. I'd have to buy them dinner or something. Uh, but like, you know, 12 pages, right, of chapter one. Take them out for coffee and get it hammered in like an hour it would be ready. But now, it, jeez, I have to like schedule an appointment to talk about possibly they're reading something with other artists. Uh, and that's just, it just is what it is. I mean, everybody's busy. Everybody's trying to keep their head above water. So I am guilty of it and I appreciate it. And I've had some very generous people offer to beta read my scripts for me. Put up um, scripts for you guys. Uh, maybe on a shorter chapter. Chapter six is just too long for me to scan um, because I draw on my, I print out my script, I draw on my script and then I draw the thumbnails. Um, and that's a process that works for me. And it might be a process that helps you out too. Um, but it's just, like, that's 30 pages of script and then 15 pages of thumbnails that I'd have to re- Well, I have the thumbnail scan, but I don't have the script scan. Maybe if that's something you guys are interested in, I can, I can make that happen. Because now that I'm like thinking about it, I'm like everything except the script would be would be scanned, Becca. It's not the it's not the hardest thing in the world if they actually if they're interested in it. And I am uh, using chapter six to help. Well, as the like tutorial sort of the 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 comic I'm working on basically while I'm working on the intro to comic craft series. So it might actually be helpful to be able to share those with y'all. So if that's if that's something my backers are interested in, please let me know, um, and I will put that up on Patreon. It might take me a little while though because June is going to be kind of crazy for me. I'm going to do my best to hold on. I, I know a lot of you guys know this because I was wah, 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 wah about it on Twitter. I have a cousin who's getting married and getting married in Galveston, and I live in Nashville right now. My mom, my mom talked me into coming because I missed one of my 
Uh, she still lives in our hometown of Lule, and I think she misses me like crazy. Um, so anytime I'm going to be in town, she always talks me into staying for like two weeks. And I love my mom, and I get homesick in Nashville, so, you know, of course I want to, like, comply with that. But it means, it is, it's, it means I have to get creative about how I do work. I mean, honestly, that's where the Walmart art, suppli blah, 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 blah. Walmart art Supply series came from, the Target Art Supply series came from, the Dollar Tree Art Supply series came from, was, like, hanging out with my mom in our hometown and just, like, thinking of stuff that we could do together. She actually helped me out with those. Um, she and I went together and we were looking at supplies together for those. Um, do nothing and there's only so much uh, I can bring with me and feasibly get done. So who knows when I'm in Luling for, well when I'm out of town for that wedding, for a part of the time I'm going to be in Luling, I might come up with like something really cool to share with you guys because that's usually when I get my more, more out of the box ideas is when I'm in Luling. Anyway, my point was I'm going to be out of town in June um, because as soon as, as soon as I'm finished with the wedding, uh, I was accepted into A2CAF, which was Kids Read Comics. Now it's Ann Arbor Comics Arts Festival, I believe. Um, and if you guys watch Lead Into Art, put on by Drizzy Droid, um, that's like the, the comic show he puts on for kids creators. And I'm super excited to go because I was looking at the guest list and like kind of hyperventilating because I think Faith Aaron Hicks is supposed to be there one of the days and Raina Telgemeier is going to be there and Dave Roman and it's just like, ah, oh! and as like this tiny little self-published kids comic artist, like I really need all of, all of the, all of the, if I can like absorb <laughs> some of their, some of their luck and ability and knowing people and all of the things that like help you become a kids comic artist who can pay their bills drawing kids comics like that's all I need that <laughs> I feel like I have a deficit of that in my life so I'm actually I'm really excited about that but that is literally the weekend after the wedding so I have a feeling I haven't booked my tickets but it's it's looking like I'm gonna be flying to Ann Arbor like as soon as like from New Orleans, so I don't even know if I'm going to get time to like stop in in Nashville. Um, I'm a little, I'm more than a little, I'm pretty nervous about that. I don't like doing back to back stuff. Because we don't really belong anywhere, we're kind of invisible. Like, um, there's a lot of, of comic creators, a lot of web comic creators who work for teens and young adult, and there are, there's a place for them. Um, there are people who are looking for that. Comic press is barely a good analog. Um, people have been trained to give um, web comics a shot, as they should. They're very deserving of of that shot. I'm not begrudging them, but as a as a kids comic artist, it's actually very difficult for me to convince people to like, especially. As or SPX or TCAF where there are published by publisher children's comic artists literally five feet away from me. Um, they don't stop to even flip through my stuff. They head straight over to the artists they recognize who are published by publishers they recognize. And, and I say this but it is my grail. It's one of the companies I really want to work for one day. Um, Scholastic, like that is a, a sign of quality, or like highlights, that's a sign of quality. And when you're trying to to make comics without without their money, without their support, without their editors, it is a really hard task. All right. So that said, I do believe these inks the like shadow line from her arm over her dress and I darken the lines where her dress casts a shadow um, and I might darken the lines a little bit on her ribbon bow on her shirt 
And when I'm doing this, not on camera, I often have to go back because I want these, I'm doing, uh, I've done several of them and I want them to look consistent. Like I want, um, when I, whoever I decide to offer these through, either through myself or through someone else, I want it to look like a set and I want it to look like a set of, of seven inch care of stamps. Okay, so I have to go grab a couple supplies, couple